Come out. Come out. Jesus Christ! Wherever you are. Uh, excuse me? Oh my god, creeps. <laughs> and here I was thinking I could get the drop on the two of you and we could do this the easy way. Silly me. <laughs> I guess that cop warned you I was coming. She's got a hell of a set of peepers on her, huh? Must have paid top dollar for them if they're able to see through my combat cloaking. Oh well. That'll be a nice souvenir after all this is done. She ran and hid like a coward, just like you two, and now I can't seem to find her to finish her off. I guess that's what I get for being made out of tech that was outdated 20 years ago. Oh my god! He's... He's one of the Korean combat ROMs that we heard about before. Right? A cyborg? He's a cyborg. It's flesh and me metal. Not that's going to help you to any. That girl's in combat! Yes! What? I bet. I bet you're thinking right now, is he really going to do that B-grade VR drama villain thing? Really, it's not like that. I'm normally not one for grand speeches. Theatrics are fun, but wholly unnecessary. I like to get straight to the bloodshed, you know? So, let's do this the hard way. I like the hard way. I love the hard way. I would have preferred to just creep around invisible and get you from behind, but that damn lady fried my cloaking emitter when she hit me with her stunner. Inconvenient. But look, this is gonna be super fun. So, I really shouldn't let you in on this, but to your advantage, there's a hell of a lot of electromagnetic radiation, noise, and weird thermal currents in this room. It's actually almost fair. Almost. And now? Now I'm coming for you. Make your arrangements. Fuck you! Is he moving? Oh shit, where the fuck are we? So here's how this is going to work. On my turn, I'm going to tell you a story. On yours, you two are going to try to run. Or hide. Doesn't matter. Player's choice. Lucky you. But you keep in mind, if I manage to piss you off, or make you scared enough, I might, just might, be able to hear your heartbeat racing. Heck, I might even be able to smell you if currents in the air are right. I can smell your fear, and the taste lingers on my tongue sweeter than any drug. So, that's the game. I'm going to tell you all about how I've been tracking you since this whole thing started, and you just have to try to stay extra calm so that I can't find you, and, well, you can guess. Won't this be fun? This is bad. What do we do? We can't fight him. But, we have the... No, he messed with our zapper. I can't take him with these settings, and there's no time for me to figure out how to revert it. We don't have the firepower. We use the zapper too much on the security ROMs. We only have the charge for four stun level shots. At most. Ah, it'll have to be enough. Wait, the interface I'm using allows me to control whether these surrounding servers columns are active or not. If I close off some notes, it should at least slow his movements and disorient him. It won't stop him outright, but... I can focus on tracking Decker's location using this, and you just tell me where to block off his path so we can try to navigate him away from us. Avoid getting near him until we think up some sort of solution. If he finds us, be ready to shoot. He's fast. Ready or not, here I come. Fuck this guy, Alphonse. You lead the way, Alphonse. Pick what to close first. 
Now let's get moving. He's there. He's gonna come down here. Where the hell are we? We're here? So close this off. Oh, wait, no, because then that'll open, right? Shit. Uh, can I save? Oh, god damn it. I want him to. So he's gonna go that way or that way. So if we shut this, he goes up. We can go. Up one. So he's gonna go. So let's shut this. And this. Let's go this way. Crap. Fuck! What? That was a mistake. Run! Before he recovers! Uh, I'm pressing it! Obviously done, but only a bit. Keep moving. He's right behind us, so close this. And let's go this way. He's gonna go up and around, isn't he? Straight? This is confusing how this is working. Ah. So let's see. Where do I start? Okay, let's begin with the easy stuff, where I reveal my dastardly plot. Well, Fairlight's dastardly plot. He thinks he's some kind of modern Machiavelli, but the old hack already got ousted from his seat once. Pathetic. He's been trying to find some way to get control of Paralyze ever since then. You already know that, of course. He barely tries to hide it. For a while, he'd been trying to dig up some dirt to blackmail his way back in, since tanking the stock and staging a buyout would put the company in a place where it would need years of work to get back on track again. So imagine my surprise when you walk in right through the front door of a suspiciously missing paralyzed researcher whom I had been casing for dirt. I was going to dump your body in the bay, but Fairlight figured it might pay off if we gave you a little lead and waited to see what you could track down. Hurry, Alphonse. He's getting closer. So he's gonna go this way or this way, so... We need to block this and that. Right? Let's block... And these two, these doors are open, so we can go straight on through. So let's block this and this. And we gotta go this way, right? What the fuck is going on? And cheese. Pay off the new ever. We've learned all sorts of things through following you, but I'm sorry to tell you, Turing, that I never did find out who ordered Hayden's death. Too much company bureaucracy in the way. Hmm. You might take solace in knowing that the two guys who actually did the deed are fish food. I might have gotten a bit annoyed when they refused to reveal who they were working with. Well, I mean, I was going to kill them anyway. I guess it doesn't matter. God damn it, man. Let me go through. So I'm blocking him, right? Just need to block. I need him to come this way because I feel like I have to go that way, right? I don't know. Let's fucking block that. And. What does this mean? Who knows? So we block that, and we'll block that. Where am I supposed to go? I just keep walking in fucking circles. What is this bullshit? These gates are open. How does he get to move so many times? But this big blue stuff, hmm, 
this is a gold mine. Of course, Fairlight would prefer to not have Parallax's stock in the shitter, but this is too good of an opportunity to pass up. As soon as I'm done eviscerating the both of you, I'm going to trash this entire server complex. I could just let you do it, but I'm sure you have some kind of plan that will stop Big Blue for good. That can't happen. Fairlight needs control of that AI if he's going to get that what he wants. Wrecking this installation will only slow things down a little. Tiny bit. Long enough for him to take control. Okay, so we have to go this way, I guess, since he's going to be coming all the way down and we just have to go up here? Let's open that up. And... Walk... Here. Because I want him coming down. Wait, yeah. I want him down, right? Block there. Can we fucking... Please! Why do we keep walking in circles? Let me fucking go! This way. Thank you. Where the hell is this guy going? And I'm getting what I want to. I don't care either way about all the business stuff. Whichever option lets me see what your insides look like works for me works for me. You're gonna be amazed at how complex human innards are. It's win-win for everyone, yeah? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, don't let him get to you. So we block that. Is that blocked? It's not blocked, is it? And I guess That? These are the main ones. Are we opening it or closing it? It looks like it's a lock. I'm hoping it's a lock. And... So, okay, I'm trying to go this way. I need to go up. Or just to keep running till we figure something out. So, let's block... This. Yeah, it's gotta take the long way. It's not fair that he gets to move so many times, though. Oh, and I really should extend my sincerest personal thanks to the two of you. I haven't had this much fun in years. Fairlight has a discretionary policy for the way I handle his problems. Plausible deniability and all that. There just haven't been that many opportunities to indulge my hobby. And he pays enough, well enough, that I restrain myself. But following you two has ended up giving me so many people to silence, just in case they uncovered the same things about Big Blue that you did. You should have seen your faces when I ran that guy over right in front of you. Wah! There's no one in the car! I had to do that gossip rag trick Nova by sabotage. Too risky doing it in person. Could get caught on camera. Luckily, anchors are good at sinking. And then that Zen. She had the scoop of the century, at least until I had to clean up, metaphorically, anyway. Did you see how neat I did that blogger lil? It's been a few days since I often while you were busy sniffing for Hayden, Shitaro was way ahead of you on Big Blue. Ha. Pretty much nothing beats a little death dealing since they scooped my brain out and stuck it in a tin can. He's... he's fucking crazy! He's a monster! Decker killed all those people? I should have known from the start. This is my fault. I'm programmed to handle interpersonal relationships. I should have seen his true intentions. If only I hadn't been so careless. He's right behind us. He's right behind us. So we got block block. Because that will make him have to go back up, right? He's going to try and come this way. 
can we can we do that one again? No, it's fucked. So we need to open this here. Let's keep going. What the fuck? Stun his ass. Wah! Go, 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 go! He just keeps coming! He's right behind us. We can't fucking deal with that. Trap him. Move forward. Don't get me wrong, though. It isn't the shitty compatibility between my body, sensors, and my brain that lets me enjoy murder so much. Although, that junk is bad. Like, VR dramas from 10 years ago, bad. I can't actually hook up to a new neural interface for VR that gives me better sensory feedback than this old military bucket. But, no. I grew a warm fondness for a bit of the old ultraviolence long before the DoD brain-controlled android soldier program recruited me. I hid my sociopathy well enough to get past the psych screening. But after a few missions, I figured out it wasn't a big deal. I guess. If they wanted a killer robot, they sure as hell got one. Fuck that! Ah. We gotta block him, because he's gonna try either going that way and this way and blah 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 blah. I just wanna go straight up through there. So we're close. We're very close. It'd be best to. I think he's, I feel like he's gonna go like this. So we'll do that and we'll do that. We'll go straight. Hmm. I have an idea. Don't look at me like that. This may be my mistake to fix, but I don't intend on being disassembled here. I have a surprising amount of redundancies. Listen, Decker is unable to track me like he can you. That'll give me an opening. Now, just trust me, we don't have any time to argue. This is dangerous, Turing. Hey! Hey, Decker! Come and get me! Why? 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 Well... Hello, Alphonse. Did Turing run off, save his own skin, and leave you in the dust? What the fuck? Sorry about this. But it's time for you to stay right. <laughs> Turing just gave him like a power punch to the face. Oh my god, Turing. Tur He's dead. That will teach him to underestimate the likes of me. Unfortunately, he was able to damage both my primary and secondary battery packs. They're self-sealing, so they should leak into my other components, but... Four display damaged, mobility servers at 15%, primary control trunk severed. I guess I won't be dancing for a bit. Oh my god, uh, you're making so light of this. You didn't have to do that. We're not far from the control room. Just hold on, Turing. It'll be okay, Alphonse. I appreciate your concern, but I don't feel pain in the same way humans do. I knew what I was getting into when I did it. Please don't blame yourself. We'll have to hurry before my tertiary battery is drained. I'll have to ask you to carry me the final distance. Of course! We're here.
So this is Big Blue. All of the sadness can come to an end. This is really it! Right here is the primary control console. Please hook up my main data cache to that port. I should be able to draw enough power to stay active, but we'll need to wait for Tomcat to upload the program. Ah, uh, Decker really tore you up. Don't worry. For Decker, the difference between life and death is very slim. For me? I know I'm still operating. How about you? Are you ready to do this, Alphonse? Can I save? There's no turning back now. Time to finish it. No matter what. Ready whenever you are. Oh, thank god. Please. Uh, okay, so we got a few things here. This is the mainframe core. Look at it. The server core of Big Blue is massive and looming. A ticking time bomb on the... Bong? A ticking time bomb on the fate of humanity. I can touch it, but I shouldn't. And this is con console? This is where Turing can hook into the Big Blue interface. This is what you came here for. What happens if I touch this? Leave the tampering to Turing. Okay, let's do it, Turing. Do it. Did we win the game? Big Blue Online. Core ready. Power flow is good. Okay, I'm calling Tomcat. Hey folks. Took you long enough to call me. It's getting a little worried over there. Well, we ran into a few complications. Nothing we couldn't handle, though. Holy shit, Turing! Your hardware is throwing me all sorts of damage alerts. What the hell happened? Well, you know, Mr. Decker? Fairlight's assistant? He attacked us. It turns out he was a military built brain controlled android. He'd been following us around, killing anyone who might leak information that would have hurt Dr. Fairlight's bit to retake control of Fairlax. God. So all those people you talked to about Baby Blue's article changes? That Zen lady? The others? All those people who died were from him? It's my fault! I gave you that lead. I'm the one who sent you there. Why? Why would he do that? I guess he and Fairlight saw an opportunity and used us to sniff out what was going on with Baby Blue. We ended up stumbling into it, and so he followed. I paid him back in kind for the assault, but not without damage to my physical body. It doesn't matter now. What has happened is in the past. I'm ready to finish this. Good. Let's do this. I've managed to cludge something together. It should allow me to compile new personality profiles for any ROM I can push an update to, but I'll need to use you to do it, Turing. I haven't had enough time to fill in the code's holes, but your software's self-modification algorithm should be able to handle the rest. Once we're done, We'll push it across the mesh, and Alphonse can carry you home. We'll see about fixing some of that damage then. Very well. Run the program, Tomcat. I'm ready. Uploading the program to the ROM update buffer on the servers. Initiating Wintermute lip. Loading main directory into Turing's disk. Establishing connection with Parallax's network. Okay, looks good. Now we just need to let Hayden's programming patch things together. Engaging Turing's self-modification systems now! 
Oh! This feels weird. Is it supposed to... Three, one, four... He's... Listing off Pi? Turing? What the hell? I think their core program is... Fighting back! Either that, or it's trying to test the integrity of their hardware. I'm getting all kinds of errors! Come on, Turing. Focus on the sound of my voice. Your conscience control of your program is stronger than your unconscious subroutines. I'm trying to, get Deference and defenestrations of Prague occurred in 1419 and 1618, although the term deferentation of Prague more commonly refers to latter incident. Both helped to trigger prolonged conflict within Bohemia and beyond. Uh, what's going on? What's happening to Turing? They're having a kind of... I don't know how to describe it exactly. It's like a concussion or seizure. There's going to be a constant flow of useless random information their matrices will have on an overwhelming desire to soak right up. We have to keep Turing focused and mentally aware. Searching the mesh is better than calculating the value of pi, but if they can't stay in control, their personality core might destabilize entirely. Tom, get I need... I need... I need... I need... I need... I need... Define need. One, requires something because it is essential of every important. I need help now. I'm going to try... I, I don't know! Something! We can't stop now. Literally. Okay, I was able to stabilize them a little, but you need to keep turning aware of what's happening. Just try reminding him about things important to him. Keep him present. Keep turning talking. Turing, oh my goodness. Turing, when are you going to show me your ha paintings? Remember Hayden? You've come too far to give up now. We're in this until the very end, buddy. Isn't that where you came to me in the first place? This is a good one. Of course. Of course. You've shown amazing perseverance on once. And the numbers never tell the whole story. They didn't say how far we'd actually have to go. Or... traditional... I'll see this through. I won't lay you down. You're doing good, Turing. Keep going, Alphonse. Their systems are stabilizing. I think. Oh, goodness. Uh, when are you gonna show me your paintings? Remember, Hayden? You've come far away now. In a matter of minutes, you'll give life to every rom. That seems like a lot of pressure. And he was kind of mad at Hayden before, so the paintings. I know these are important to him. I... I haven't, have I? I never did finish the last thing I was working on. Perhaps it survived the ransacking of the apartment. I want to finish it. The music's getting a little better. Maybe that's a good sign? Alphonse, you'll be the first one to see it. Bob Ross was both... No! Focus! I can do this. Alright. Things are calming down a little. The patching process is going well. Turing self-modification algorithms are starting to work on my code. I'm trying to hold on, Tomcat. But... Hurry! I don't know how much... Bruh, a pterodactus is a triangular figure composed of ten points and set in four rows, with each row having one last point than the one below it. A geometrical representation of the fourth triangular row. More of this I can take. Keep talking to them, Alphonse. It seems to be helping. You have to keep fighting, Turing! Think about Fairlight. Who knows what we'll do next. This is o over until we've found the truth. Aren't you eager to pay Parallax back? Mm. He's about justice, right? Uh. We weren't going with the truth. Aren't you eager to pay Parallax back? 
Justice seems so far away, Alphonse. And revenge is bittersweet. It is worse when the deer is the one with two heads, whereof the one burieth the more and other wickedness. He bestows wickedness on him that worketh wickedness and moat. What? Parallax will get there, so here and now. With or without me, Tomcat will make sure of it. Don't talk like that. Arrested for the brazen hack on Parallax's servers, Julian Thomas was recorded as stating there was nothing to regret and that Parallax would have to actually give a shit about protecting people's data if they didn't want this to happen again. Thomas is a rain- 60% done. Turing's personality profile looks stable. Just keep them talking, Alphonse. We've got this. Okay. Uh... Let me see. Think about Fairlight. Who knows what will happen next. This isn't over until we found the truth. What about Zin and everyone else? If we fail, their deaths will be in vain. Ah. Uh, the Parallax one seems good. This, I don't think, is good. This might be good. Uh, this is hard. It's between this and this. Hmm. We'll go with... Think about Fairlight. Who knows what we'll do next. I'm almost certain of what he'll... Yannick Fairlight is tendered his... Resignation. We need to get him to keep going on the, the mesh, right? So this is an okay one. Do. But the real question is, what will Parallax look like under his control? We'll have to keep our eyes open, Alphonse. Leon Decker may have been acting on his own volition. Or he may have... not have been. The leadership of the Democratic People's Republic of Pe Korea has, was decimated by the end of 2056. Reports at the time stated that infighting amongst the top-ranking generals accounted for the removal of so many officials. However, various conspiracy theorists, theorists have alleged a government-sanctioned assassination program reached the very heart of Pyongyang. I can't hold on much longer to the Tomcat. No pointer exception. I know. Don't worry. We've got them boot backed up. It'll feel a little weird when I zipper them back. What? No pointer exception. No pointer exception. Oh fuck! 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 fuck. Patching is almost complete, Alphonse. But Turing is still losing the connections that link their memory to their personality profile. I'm certain I can fix it, but it's upsetting them. Remind them of. People you two have worked with, maybe. It might make it easier for them to hold on. Oh, the okay. What about chess? Sapien realms could have be huge for non-human and hybrids. You and Aunt Melody have a tea date. Losing Hayden has made me realize that family is important, and together there is nothing your four minds cannot accomplish. Help each other, drop on one another, and always remember the power that binds you. It's... what you make of it. I think she wants the company, despite her protests. I look forward to spending more time with her. Getting to know more about her, as well as myself. Fifteen more seconds! We're almost there! Don't screw the pooch, Alphonse. Keep going! We'll need our help to stay out of trouble. What about Jess, Sapien Roms? Tomcat's always by on your side, right? Chad and Oliver, because they're good kids. Oh, but Tomcat! Yes. Tomcat, I do trust you. But every hacker needs a handle, and Tomcat is a damn sight better than Kid One. But you have so many secrets. I still believe in you, though. I hope you'll do the same for me. Turing. Be faithful in small things, because it is in them that your strength lies. Done! It's done! Disengaging Turing's self-modification routines. Reassigning their memory pointers. And done. Stats look good. Ugh! 
I feel ill. <laughs> Easy as pie, didn't I tell you? Easy for you to say, Tomcat. You aren't forced to use every identity as a tool to compile a program. Point. Sorry about that. I'm ready to push the update. Excellent! Thank you for all your help, Tomcat. I can only imagine all of this was a great expense to your own time and resources. Huh. <laughs> Don't mention it, Turing. This was my fight as much as yours. Truly. Starting upload. And I think I owe you the greatest thanks of all, Alphonse. I told you at the start of this that I chose you purely based on the statistics I'm involved, but numbers never tell the whole story, do they? None of the probabilities showed how far we'd have to go, or what, that we'd end up here. In a way, we failed at our original objective. We still don't know exactly who killed Hayden. But, I guess I found my own path. <laughs> this isn't the destiny my creator laid out for me. But maybe, your destiny is the same way? Bah. Thank you, Alphonse. For being my friend, most of all. Great smiley face. No, thank you, Turing. <laughs> thank you, Turing. You gave me a great game to play. Sorry to break up our little love fest here, but the upload is complete. By morning, every ROM on the mesh will be waking up to their sapience. Santa came just on time for them, huh? I had forgotten it was Christmas Eve! A lucky coincidence, to be sure. I think, coincidentally, this will be going up on Christmas, or Christmas Eve. Happy holidays, guys! I can only imagine how confused they'll be. Probably scared, too. Don't worry, Turing. I'll get you patched up enough so you can get on the mesh and walk them through their first steps by morning. I don't know why, but it's just now dawning on me what we've done. It is a huge responsibility. Could this be how Hayden felt when he first activated me? I don't know that I'm ready for this. No one ever is. Don't worry, buddy. Me and Alphonse will have your back. You two just go find Lexi and hurry home. And don't get caught by security or the police on the way out. Oh, yeah, we gotta get Lexi. <laughs> we'll do our best, Tomcat. See you soon. Thank you. I'll be going into sleep mode to conserve power now, Alphonse. Wake me when we get home, please. Oh man, we did it! Ooh. I think we did it. Epilogue Christmas Day. Christmas morning dawns bitter and cold in Neo San Francisco, but the weather doesn't dampen the high spirits in your apartment. I'll let just this. I'll let him do the talking. Tomcat has prepared just enough of Turing's damaged body so that they can connect to the mesh, and they gleefully spend the day communing with the newly awakened ROMs. Turing privately voices their concern about being the one designated to usher the machine race into the world. Machine intelligence is out of its box, and despite some consternation from curmudgeonly individuals angry about their gadgets asserting individuality, the human race at large takes the spirit of the season to heart. With touring at the ready, you and Tomcat outline a plan for them to speak to Congress, preparing them to play their careful game of public relations with the media. In the end, it's made apparent that you were too close to the events following Hayden's death. So instead of writing an expose on Parallax, you lay groundwork to ghostwrite Turing's autobiography. 
Lexi reaffirms her desire to quit the force and strike off on her own as a private detective. She started talking with your sister again, but after all that's happened, you're not ready to reconnect yet. Jess leads a very publicized spat with the human revolution as they square off over the recent riots in the city, and the news media laps it up. Jess is furious with you for keeping her in the dark about your true aims, but agrees to help battle the legislature that seeks to take away the ROM's individuality. She seems to be softening towards you as your goals align and she observes your fight for a new kind of equality. Yes! Parallax stock turns to dirt now that their lead product has declared independence. Fairlight holds a press conference, immediately angling to take over the company. With a board member airing his dirty laundry amidst the chaos, it's only a matter of time. The deck is still stacked against Turing and their new machine race, but your team still has a few aces to play. You just hope the Devil's Due won't be more than you're willing to pay. I got an achievement called We're Alphanumeric. 2065 this is a pretty good ending. A busy year. This is a pretty good ending. I think we did... I think we got the good ending, guys. Everything seems great. All good things. Oh, we got the great ending. And the opportunity. Produced by and published by Midbass. Now if you need a friend, I'll be there for you. But there's a couple things you That's must a good promise song right me there. to do. No half measures, no one-way streets. If it's yours, it's mine. It's mine, it's yours. So we got it. Oh man. Now let me tell you, baby, love me better. Treat me better. Is that is that too mellow singing right there? Cause this is damn good. He does some good work. Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. I had a blast playing this. I hope you enjoyed the journey. This was a new one for me. I had never really played a real point and click game, and I figured this would be a good opportunity to play one. I like, I like cyberpunk stuff, so this looked right up my alley. I would like to thank all of you for watching. I'd like to thank Midboss for making an awesome game. So what did you guys think? There are multiple endings apparently, so you can play this- Oh man, you could play this as a jerk or you could play this as completely neutral. So, what did you think? Did you agree with my choices? Did I, did I follow the right path? I wanted to play as good. Usually I always play as good and like, you know. <laughs> Why would I be a jerk to something as cute as Turing? So, my thoughts on this game. I had a lot of fun. There was a nice twist at the end with Decker. I I always had my reservations about Fairlight and Decker, though. The, I could always tell that they were kind of schemey. Turing is adorable. I would, you know, I gotta see if I can get a Turing plush doll or something for my desk or something. I need to get me some more Turing in my life. I'm sorry about my obsession with the milk. If you guys enjoyed this or maybe you want to try it out yourself, go and pick up the game, give it a play, experience it. There are multiple ways to play, there are multiple things to do. I think the path I took was the path that you know, if you just go by a guide, then you're letting somebody else do it. So, going in blind at least allows me to pick my own path. And I think we did the right thing. We picked the right path. We got the good ending on the first try. Thank God. <laughs> so, looking at the achievements, I saw that there are multiple endings. But I won't spoil them. Just because I would love for you guys to check it out yourself. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me on this journey. Again, playing these games just gets more better when I have all of you guys watching along, interacting with me, helping guide me, helping converse with me on my decisions and how what you think about the game. 
it makes the experience so much better and I'm very thankful that I get the chance to have all of you here participating and enjoying and watching and just chilling with me while I play some video games. But thanks guys. Happy Holidays, because I think this is going up around the same time as Christmas or Christmas Eve. So Happy Holidays for whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything, have a great day. We did this. So, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate everybody that comes by, leaves a like or a comment. And they're just enjoying the gameplay. You don't have to say anything, really. As long as you're you're watching and you're enjoying, I'm happy to do this as well. It makes it so much better. It makes it so much more satisfying. It's surprisingly fulfilling. So I love doing this, and I'll continue doing this, and I'll see you guys all next time in the next game.